Um, hi, my name's Maya Dello. I'm 13 years old and I'm going to talk about Minecraft as an educational tool. My Twitter is Maya, M-Y-A underscore 551 if you want to ask any questions after this session. So I want to um, ask who knows what Minecraft is. Put your hand up. Okay. Who has no idea what I'm talking about whatsoever? Okay. Um, do you have any kids who have played the device before? The game? Yep. So in my household, I have eight devices which have Minecraft, on most on iOS. Um, let's consider that I do have a couple of other siblings with iPod touches and all of that. Um, so even my dad has played Minecraft, so it really is played by all ages. A quick background of Minecraft. Minecraft is an innovating virtual world, a sandbox indie game created by a Swedish programmer. There's no objections to the game, which I think makes it so addictive, having the endless possibilities and letting your imagination go wild. You can break and place blocks, fight monsters at night, create amazing structures and work out with other people. So it really it appeals to many types of people um, to what they want to do. For those that have played it, know about the endless possibilities that the game offers and the one I'm going to talk about is from an educational perspective. Last year I received my iPad as my school device and one of the games everybody seemed to download was Minecraft. And the way some of my friends used it was really quite interesting. Uh, last year we had to do an assignment on ancient civilizations and history. And one group was doing a presentation on Egyptian pyramids, but it wasn't just on a keynote presentation, it was actually they built a... Um, uh, 3D pyramid which you could uh, quite easily walk in and get lost and because it was on a Minecraft world people could join and explore um, wherever they wanted to so it was a really interesting and fun way to learn that I don't think anyone in my class um, had been exposed to so it got me thinking how many more ways can we use Minecraft and take it to the next step further from just a way to pastime but then I thought what is education what is a game well, education is the learning of a skill, knowledge, to be able to do something and grow as a person. It can also be an experience. Uh, would anyone like to expand on that? Yeah? yeah? Oh, you can expand on what education is. Um, and, yeah. Problem solving. Yeah. Thinking. Um, making you get to the top of the class more quickly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well the next one, what's games? Well games are generally a way to pass time. It can be virtual or physical like a board game, a mind strategy game like chess or a game of chance like trouble. Games are not limited to uh, past time but can actually have a knock on effect on real life situations. Minecraft is becoming one of those games. Minecraft is like a version of Lego, as easy as it is to create, you can destroy just as easily. Kids have used Lego to create houses, jails, planes, even landmarks, whatever they desire. They could make a plane and use it as a prop for their aircraft uh, research project, or um, the Sydney Harbour Bridge and build that. You can do that in Minecraft. It can take time, efforts and patience, but you can build it. So if we can use Lego in schools and consider it to have educational uses or developing skills such as maths, geometry, teamwork, sharing skills, IT when using stop motion and quick uh, prototyping, why not Minecraft when really it's just an electronic version with much more possibilities and more extras? Minecraft has opened a new world and new opportunities. It's one of the first games where teachers actually don't have to change the lesson to involve Minecraft. It just fits. Of course we won't be able to turn every lesson to involve Minecraft. Um, <laughs> sorry. But uh, it can land us uh, with being able to adjust the map to whatever we want it to have. In s we can be uh, having incorporating Minecraft in lessons in subjects such as maths, history, engineering, geography, chemistry, and even English. Minecraft also helps develop communication skills. 
because when you're on multiplayer with four other people, you're not going to build a structure or a building in silence. So when you communicate, uh, you learn a skill to express your ideas with the person next to you or uh, write it on the server without getting angry, aggressive, being rude and starting a fight, which is an important life skill that will be used for life. As the world becomes more and more socially in tune, we need to be able to communicate without confusion by text, email and social network. To say something and it not to be taken the other way is a lesson that people all ages are still learning today. I know for a fact that I am one of them and a joke written on a text can be easily taken the wrong way. So putting the kids in a situation now in a safe environment when if they do mess up, it's all right, it doesn't matter, it's just, you know, Minecraft. They can learn their mistakes now rather than later. In math and geometry, you can create 3D objects in lower primary when they're learning shapes. So they could create a 3D rectangle and you know, they would learn how to build them on Minecraft. In history, you could build a historical building such as a caval, the uh, ship over there, or they could build a Mayan temple and then write an essay about the building. Believe it or not, I have a friend whose brother is studying mining engineering at university and for an assi assignment, he actually had to use Minecraft to build a mine shaft or something along those lines. Because it was so easy to use, simple and easy to manoeuvre, he could be able to use, that, um, to use Minecraft for that assignment. So now Minecraft's moving on from kids' education to university where you're shaping your future and your career path. Minecraft and geography go hand in hand. Um, Minecraft you know, has lots of different geography features. It's got lava, water, ice, um, you know, uh, soil and different ores. So it is really creative and you can create an erupting volcano or a huge waterfall. It really is up to you. Chemistry on Minecraft is really on the computer version where you um, can make potions and create chemical reactions. On the Pocket Edition, which is on iOS and um, Samsung and other tablets, it really is about having the right materials and then creating an item. So it really isn't considered um, chemistry. Using Minecraft and, uh, for English is good to recreate a historical moment, uh, such as colonisation, then run an essay about um, the you know, settlement of co you know, colonies. Um, some topics work better than others and you know that can be seen from the examples. One that is really interesting to do is science, especially high school science when you're learning a bit more about matter. There's a, a video that I'm going to show you which is actually a class that uh, demonstrate how to use solids, liquids and gases. So I'm sorry but I'm going to have to, anyone on the world, I'm like about to disconnect. All right. <laughs> I'm going to... Okay, so I'm just going to so fast forward it. So you can I'm telling you you're in a two by two room. So, so you, you can see two blocks, that, two yeah. blocks, two blocks, two blocks. So there are four blocks for all sides of you to stand on. Okay? Now if I said to you, you guys were the particles. What state of the three states of matter that we've talked about do you think you're in? Sure. Okay. We'll and he lights it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yep, to demonstrate that this is an ice cube right. and he adds heat and then yeah, it's so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll it melts. <laughs> um he then <laughs> lights the bigger square and says, you know, this is water and now it's evaporating and he lets the class go free and then it, he in, you know moves on to the next lesson. Uh, there's also I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you uh, somebody who created the Empire State Building and it's really interesting because it's time lapsed and um, to see what type of things you can build. If you want to.
So that's just one of the things people have built. You search into YouTube Minecraft and you will find millions and millions of videos of people who are doing multiplayer and they've just literally just uploaded what they've done onto Minecraft and the conversations they have. Um, there's a group called Minecraft ADU, which is a small team of programmers from the US, Finland and Sweden who work with um, Mon Monjang Minecraft to make the software more available to schools all around the world, uh, selling Minecraft 50% of the normal price. They did, they've been doing research in American schools to see what works best with Minecraft, to see not what Minecraft te can teach, but how it can teach. They offer workshops, customised Minecraft worlds, an online library of ideas and activities to incorporate Minecraft on all levels. And uh, it's made for teachers and by teachers. So as part of this task, I have, with some help, created a Minecraft world on creative mode with um, some buildings and different uh, stuff like that to show everyone. Um, if any of you guys have the app, and you can join onto the world and have a look around. Um, if anybody wants to have a go on my iPad, you are more than welcome to come up and have a look. So this is the end of my presentation. Uh, it's my first presentation at Bar Camp and I've really enjoyed it. Um, my name is Maya Jello and it's not what Minecraft can teach us, but how it can teach us.